What up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the usual suspects. Let's go have a look at them. Alright, so like I said, we're going to be taking a look at <clears throat> the usual suspects, okay? We got their whole line. Black Widow, Don Pablo, El Chapo, Freeway, Lucky, and Tijuana, Tijuana Donkey Show. Okay? So we got their whole line right here in front of us. Let's jump down. We'll take a look at the bottles. Take a look at some uh, flavor profile cards. And then we'll jump back up top. And we'll talk about it a little bit more. All right? Let's go. Right, so we're down up close, taking a look at the usual suspects, okay? Let's take a look at their business card real quick. Okay, the usual suspects, premium e-liquid. I'll put the link down below to their website. You got their email right there, their Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Okay, nothing on the back there. Take a look at the profile flavor note card okay I'll leave this up here for a second so you can read it okay alright and then again just another uh, business card alright let's take a look at the bottle nice nice bottle uh, nice label like a flat black label, okay. White writing. The usual suspects right here. Six milligram nicotine. El Chapo. The name of the flavor right there. Okay. Got your ingredients. Right on the bottom. It's a little bit hard to read on uh, on camera. Yeah, it's hard to read, but uh, it's not as bad in person, but that's just like the ingredients and uh, your warning right there, okay? Childproof lid and a glass dripper, dropper type deal, okay? So there's that. That is the bottle, okay? Let's jump back up top and we'll go over these flavors. All right, so we just took an up close look at the bottles. Um, I like the bottle, like a flat black finish. Okay, um, I don't see the labels running at all. If any juice gets on it, so that's a plus. I mean, it really doesn't bother me at all. In all reality, okay. Um, the ingredients in the warning is a little bit hard to see because it is red on a, on a black label, okay? So it's it's a little bit harder to see, but you can still see it, okay? Maybe just put all the, uh, the writing in white with the black background, okay? It looks nice, but just the red is a little bit hard to see. Not a big deal. I'm not worried about it. So let's start it off with black. Widow, we got strawberry and tropical tangy guava, okay? When I seen tangy guava, I was a little nervous, okay? A little bit, uh, a little bit nervous, okay? Inhale, you get that nice strawberry with a light guava, okay? Exhale is more, you get a little bit more strawberry and... A little bit more guava, but it's not overpowering strawberry at all, okay? I really do enjoy this flavor. The bottle shows, okay? Halfway through in about a day. I just vape through it. Alright, 1 out of 10. That's definitely going to get an 8 for me, okay? I really do enjoy that flavor, okay? 
God, I said okay again. <sighs> Stop saying okay. Stop saying okay. Stop saying okay. All right. Um, Don Pablo is next. Lemon, lime, and smooth vanilla. Lemon and lime is on like the inhale with a light vanilla. And exhale is pretty much the same. Nothing comes out more. Uh, kind of like... Uh, forgot what I was going to compare it to. We'll move on past that. 1 out of 10. This is going to get a 7 for me. It's going to get a 7 for me. Okay? I just said it again. Next up we got El Chapo. El Chapo. This is a watermelon and green apple. This is a weird, weird flavor combination for me. Okay. The, uh, the watermelon and green apple really don't work well together for me. For me. I don't like watermelon and green apple together. It's a weird flavor. It's weird. I don't like it. It just... The inhale and exhale is just a weird flavor, but the aftertaste is pretty delicious. I got to give them that. The aftertaste, once it's all said and done, the aftertaste is fantastic. But the inhale and the exhale just, real, just really doesn't do it for me. One out of ten is going to get a six, okay? Just because... I don't like watermelon and green apple together. That's just me. If that's your flavor combos, do it up. Next up, we got straw, uh, Freeway, Strawberry and Lychee. Strawberry and Lychee. Poor Strawberry always getting brought down by Lychee. I do got to say, though, this flavor isn't as bad as other Strawberry and Lychees that I have tried. The lychee does not overpower the strawberry at all, okay? I'm not going to say I enjoy this flavor because it still has that lychee. Lychee? Is it lychee? Uh, it has, still has that lychee or lychee flavor in there. And I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, but the strawberry, the strawberry is really good strawberry flavor that they got here. Alright, um, 1 out of 10, gonna give it a 6.5, just because of the lychee in there, it just kills it for me, it just kills it. Whatever happened to good old strawberries and cream? Next up we got Lucky, this is a fruit dessert, kind of like a crunch berry. A uh, mix of fruit and dessert flavors reminiscent of a crunch berry. I don't know what a crunch berry is. What's a crunch berry? So yeah, I'm not too sure what a crunch berry is. But this is a pretty good fruity strawberry blueberry type type of eight. Okay. Fuck. Is that okay again? Stop saying okay. I digress. I digress. That's just what I say. Just gotta deal with it. Just say okay a lot. Okay? Um, I don't know. I don't know. This is weird. It's getting weird. It's getting weird in here. Probably gonna get a lot of thumbs down on this review. I just feel so scatterbrained right now. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Anyway, lucky. Fruity dessert. Uh, like a crunch berry. Please tell me what a crunch berry is. I don't is it a cereal? It sounds like cereal to me. Or is it like fruit? I've never heard of a fruit called crunch berry. Crunch berry fruit. I don't know. Last up, we got Tijuana Donkey Show. 
This is a cappuccino with creamy coconut. That's actually what I got loaded up right now because today was the first time I tried it because I didn't like the flavor profile of it, okay? I didn't like the cappuccino and creamy coconut mixture together on paper, but actually trying it out is pretty delicious. Pretty delicious. I really do enjoy this flavor. On the inhale, you get that cappuccino with uh, very tiny, light notes of coconut. The exhale is mostly a coconut with uh, like it like kind of switches up on the exhale. I really do enjoy this. Okay, this would be a great morning time vape, drinking your coffee or uh, after dinner vape. Still drinking your coffee, having a vape, this would be perfect. Let's go over some uh, price for a 15 mil. This is a 15 mil, $7.99. For a 30 mil, it's $14.99. For a 60 mil, is $29.99. Okay. Fantastic prices. Fantastic prices for this juice. And I'd really do enjoy this juice, okay? What I would suggest to get today, right now, is Black Widow, without a doubt. Get that in a 30 mil, okay? Get Tijuana Donkey Show if you're into coffee vapes. Even if you're not, I'm not into coffee vapes. And this one really surprised me. So, get this in a 15 mil. Uh, Lucky, get this in a 15 mil. Okay, you might like it, you might not like it. I like it. If you like lychee, I don't know why you like lychee, but uh, get that. Because the strawberry is fantastic. The fantastic strawberry flavor that they got. I don't know what they use, but whatever they do, it's a fantastic strawberry. Alright guys, that is all I got for you today. Let's have a vape together. All my new subscribers, what up? All my old subscribers, what up? Now, just one more, because it's a good vape. I'll see you guys tomorrow.